Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. So this is Trek Marlin 7 mountain bike, and in this episode I will give you the buyer's guide for this bike, and also I will tell you should you just go ahead and buy it, or should you just consider this uh, mountain bike. As we are speaking about this uh, Trek Marlin 7 Generation 3 mountain bike, you can notice that you have two offers on the Trek's website. So this specific model is retailing for 1000 US dollars. And also there is a bit of newer version of the bike, a bit, you know, changed paint scheme and some other small components, which is retailing for 1300 US dollars. I don't believe you should bother with that uh, newer version because this one, which is originally announced in 2023 uh, as a retail price of 1000 US dollars is perfectly fine for this uh, Trek Marlin 7 generation 3 uh, mountain bike. So let's first answer the question who is this uh, bike for? So as you can see this is a typical example of a hardtail mountain bike. So basically what you are having here is the classical hardtail design where you have a front suspension on this mountain bike and there is no rear suspension on this mountain bike so it's going to be very simple for the maintenance of the bike which is the main kind of component of these kind of hardtail mountain bikes. Also I would say uh, if you are just the beginner in mountain biking, you just are kind of starting to go off-roading, then definitely this uh, Trek Marlin platform <clears throat> is an excellent starting mountain bikes for kind of beginner intermediate uh, mountain bike uh, riders. When you look at the paint schemes on these uh, Trek Marlin bikes, I'm really glad that Trek is offering three paint schemes. So the first one is this beautiful light blue, or they call it Azure paint scheme. Then you have this uh, very classical uh, Galactic Grey paint scheme and ultimately you also have this beautiful kind of teal uh, green with a hint of black and red uh, paint scheme. Of course uh, this will all depend which kind of uh, sizes of the bike are available in a certain paint scheme because as it seems to me this specific model with the retail price of 1000 US dollars is selling out very quickly from your uh, Trek uh, bike dealers. Now we can dive into the specifications and really see what are you gonna get for your hard earned money. So let's kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So you see this frame is the Trex uh, aluminum, aluminum uh, frame, hardtail mountain bike frame. It is a perfectly fine frame. There is no special complaints uh, here from me. Trek has a huge heritage and knowledge in making these aluminum uh, frames. So it's going to work uh, perfectly fine. And this is a very simple classical hardtail mountain bike design. So not a lot of things can go wrong in this instance. And also this uh, bottom bracket on this aluminum frame is a classical kind of uh, threaded uh, bottom bracket. And uh, as you will notice, uh, the wheels will have a classical quick release uh, front and the back. When you look at the fork on this bike, so you will get the RockShox uh, Judy fork, and this fork has 100 millimeters of travel. It also comes with the lockout option, and this fork is a pure uh, coil fork, so there is no air chamber inside. Of course, you know, if you would go higher in the pricing, then you would get, you know, more advanced forks, which are basically air forks. Uh, so this, in this instance, this RockShox uh, Judy fork with 100 millimeters of travel again perfectly fine it's gonna work excellent and uh, I would just advise you uh, once per year to just uh, service this fork any kind of local uh, track bike dealer or a bike shop should be able to service this uh, pretty simple uh, RockShox uh, Judy fork all in all a very good uh, option on this uh, price level of the bike because uh, as I said the whole bike is about 1000 US dollars Okay, moving on to the handlebar and the stem on this bike. So what are you going to get? So this handlebar and the stem are classical aluminum pieces uh, from Bontrager. Bontrager as the in-house brand of Trek. Uh, 
nothing is proprietary here it is you know very easy to adjust your position on the bike and also in the future if you ever decide to upgrade any of these pieces it's going to be perfectly fine and easy to do it this is what i like and again nothing proprietary here that's how it should always be also you can notice on this bike that it has a bit of you know <clears throat> internal cable routing where all the cables uh, from the shifters from the hydraulic disc brakes uh, can be routed through the frame which is perfectly fine it is not fully internally routed which again is nice if you need to service anything here or your local mechanic needs to do any work so it's going to be pretty easy to do it now when you look at the saddle and the seat post the saddle is again probably some uh, very basic Bontrager saddle since saddles are a personal preference you might want to change this saddle in the future or upgrade it with some more advanced saddles the saddles you really like and also i will mention here when it comes to this seat post on the bike uh, unfortunately this is just an aluminium seat post and for example i would advise you to uh, save a bit of money and buy yourself a proper carbon fiber seat post uh, doesn't matter from you know which manufacturers uh, as long as it of course fits this aluminium frame just because this uh, carbon fiber seat post will soak up a bit more of the road bumps than this very classical and probably stiff uh, aluminium uh, seat post now let's talk about the wheel set on this uh, bike so these wheels are from Bontrager Bontrager Co-V wheels and these wheels are classical aluminium wheel set uh, with uh, some kind of very basic formula DC uh, hubs probably with seal cartridge bearings and you will get the quick release uh, front and the back on these wheels listen uh, totally fine aluminium wheel set as it is out of the box nothing special to complain here these 29 inch wheels and maybe maybe in the future if you are really thinking of upgrading it's always nice to upgrade a pair of wheel set and uh, as i always like to say you can have a look at the dt swiss wheels for example in the future if you are really interested in upgrading as long as it is now this is a tubeless ready wheel set perfectly fine comes with uh, this would be uh, some kind of Bontrager tires x xt3 tires uh, i'm not so sure if they are immediately you know tubeless prepared out of the box but i could definitely advise you to turn this wheel set into a tubeless wheel set uh, if you want because probably as it is uh, they come with the inner tubes uh, out of the box and these uh, tires are 2.4 inches wide so very nice air volume inside and definitely for the future i would advise you uh, when you destroy these tires definitely keep up uh, with another pair of 2.4 inch tires from any kind of manufacturers you like specifically i prefer continental mountain bike tires if you can get them for a, for a fair price because they can usually be a bit more on the pricier side now let's talk about the group set on this bike so what will you get so when it comes to the shifters and the rear mech, uh, as you are noticing, there is no front mech on this bike, so this is a single chainring at the front. So the shifter is the Shimano Dior shifter, and the rear mech is the Shimano Dior. So this is a 10-speed uh, Shimano's mechanical group set, mountain bike group set. Again, perfectly fine. It is going to work excellent, this 10-speed uh, Shimano mechanical group set. And also, when you look at the crank set on this bike, you will get the FSA uh, Alpha Drive uh, crank set, a single chainring at the front. And here I just have to mention that this chainring is 28 tooth. So this might be a little bit smaller for the majority of the riders. So you might want to replace this in the future with, for example, 30 tooth or even 32 uh, tooth uh, chainring. Just something to think about in the future, but again, out of the box. I would just test it first as it is and then make a decision. This chain is of course a 10 speed chain, in this instance is a KMC chain. Uh, in the future you can use any 10 speed compatible chain here, is it from Shimano, is it from KMC, it doesn't matter as long as it is 10 speed compatible. And this cassette at the back, a huge Shimano Dior cassette, a 10 speed cassette and i believe that the, uh, the the cogs on this cassette are 1143 if i remember correctly on these uh, 10 speed dior cassettes 
When it comes to the braking system, so you have Shimano's hydraulic disc brakes front and back. Uh, these are the Shimano's MT200 hydraulic disc brakes, uh, 180mm braking rotor at the front, 160mm braking rotor at the back, absolutely superb, uh, great stopping power, great heat dissipation. And of course, as it is now, these braking rotors are pretty basic uh, Shimano's RT, I'm thinking something probably around RT20, RT30 braking rotors, but in the future, if you are replacing these braking rotors once when they get destroyed, I can strongly recommend you to, for example, upgrade to the Shimano Dior uh, braking rotors or the Shimano, let's say, SLX uh, braking rotors, just because you will get a bit more uh, better heat dissipation from these uh, braking rotors. So again, in a summary, when you look at the retail price of this bike of 1000 US dollars as a hardtail mountain bike, I believe that Trek has done a very good job here and probably if you go to your local shop or find any Trek dealers in your local area, I wouldn't be surprised if you can still get another 10 to 20% discount on this retail price of 1000 US dollars. So you could probably get this bike easily for something around, I would call it 850 or 800 US dollars. So I can comfortably say to you, if you are thinking of, you know, going into the mountain biking world, maybe you are just a beginner mountain biker or you are a bit more intermediate mountain biker, I can definitely recommend you to shortlist this uh, Trek Marlin 7 Generation 3 hardtail mountain bike. It is a very good offering from Trek and I definitely believe you will enjoy, you know, your first mountain biking steps on this uh, hardtail uh, mountain bike. Cheers!